Zoom has decided to discontinue the JWT-based authentication with effect from June 2023. It is being replaced by a new server-to-server -server OAuth-based authentication, so we need to adapt to the new changes. The objective of this tutorial is to create a server-to-server-based OAuth OAuth app on the Zoom marketplace. Login to the marketplace.zoom.us portal and click on the develop dropdown and open the various options. Select the build app option and click it to open the page that you are seeing here. This page lists the various types of apps that you can create. Locate the server to server OAuth app and click the create button. Enter a suitable name for your app. You can give any readable name. Click the create button. Zoom will take a few seconds to provision your app and after that, the app credentials page of your new app opens. Accept the various defaults on this page and click continue. After this, the information page opens. You can fill a short description and the name of your company and various other items of data on this page. Some of the items are mandatory. So fully complete this page and click the continue button. Next, a page of app features opens. This page is entirely optional. We will not use any features. So click the continue button. This leads us to the scopes page. This is an important page. Click on the add scopes button. A pop-up box opens that offers various scopes. Select user from the menu on the left hand side and tick mark the two options that you are seeing here. Nothing else is to be done. After this, click the done button and allow the pop up to close. And after adding these two scopes, click continue. The final page for activation opens. Click on the activate your app button and allow the activation to succeed. If you see any errors, then you must review the items and ensure that the activation succeeds. Once your app succeeds, click the app credentials menu to again open the app credentials. You will see three items, account ID, client ID and client secret. Copy these items and save them somewhere. These items will be required at the time of starting a meeting. Let me explain the various fields on the Start Meeting app. The server field is obtained from the QBag portal. We will explain that in a separate video. Zoom website login is the login email of your Zoom website account that we have already explained in a previous video. The other three fields, account ID, client ID and client secret they are to be obtained from this app credentials page. And now it should be clear why this server to server OAuth app has to be created. And it should also be clear how you can use the start meeting software to start a protected meeting. Thank you.